the device flow is great for dealing with scenarios where an app is running on a device that doesn't have great input capabilities. Instead, the user performs the authentication out of band uh, on a different device. Running this in OAuth tools, we are first going to register a dynamic client. Uh, to do so, I need um, an access token with a DCR scope. So we'll get that here using the client credentials flow. To register the client, we can use the external API flow in OAuth tools. Um, use the OAuth registration endpoint here. Pick the token that we were issued. Some configurations here. We need to set the content type and also in the body, I'm going to pass in that I'm using the device client. It's a template client that I have. Sending this will give us a response where we can pick up the client ID here. This is the dynamic client that's using or has the device flow enabled. So we can simply paste this client ID here. Go back, get the client secret from the response here as well. Copy the client secret, paste it in. And at this point, we can now call the device endpoint. And if we run this, the response is um, an authentication URL and a code as well in my case a QR code. We can also pull and see what the polling response is. In our case it's authorization pending. This is because we have not authenticated yet. So if you go back up here and use the URL, it's going to pre-populate the code here. It's passed in as a parameter in the URL. So I have the code and we can now submit this verification code here. This could obviously be entered manually also on a different device. This will then present the authentication where we can authenticate and then confirm access to the account. Now our th authentication is done we can go back to our device flow and OAuth tools where we can run the polling again. And here we see that we are now getting an access token and a refresh token. If we scroll down, we see the full response, uh, 200 success. And here's the same access token and refresh token. So this is a way to simulate the device flow in OAuth tools. In reality, it would be an application running on something like an Apple TV that would present the URL and the code or possibly the QR code and the user would then perform this authentication on a separate device like their mobile phone or um, an, a laptop or similar and the application on the Apple TV would keep pulling the endpoint for the successful user authentication.